I'm going to uh, mix some liver of sulfur and I'll kind of give you a little idea about liver of sulfur. Liver of sulfur is a darkening agent. It's the oldest darkening agent there is. We call it our traditional uh, patinas. I call it a base patina because you're generally going to use it and put another patina over the top of it. So it's to give you if you had a mottled surface darks and lights on a bronze, brass, or copper. So uh, it's an excellent uh, for giving you the high points and low points because you burnish it back afterwards and uh, and it lasts quite a while and it uh, it's pretty much non-toxic. Here's how they look, the chunks. This is the color you're looking for. If they're gray, that means they've gone bad. What happens is they're very susceptible to uh, disintegration and going bad in the air. So once you've uh, got a piece of the liver out, you want to make sure you seal the container immediately. I've opened one little corner here. I try not to open too much because you want to seal this as soon as you can. And this will last for years if you seal it good. If you don't seal it good, it's going to go bad fairly quickly. Usually I turn it upside down so when you put it in it makes even a better seal. Okay. Keep it in a dark place. That's also important. So what we need is water. What you'd like is distilled water. Okay, and so we're going to put, this is about the right amount, these three little chunks here and four ounces of water. So I'll put these in. It takes about, if the water is warm, it goes quicker. Uh, if it's cold, it takes a little bit longer for it to start to uh, disintegrate. So what you're trying to do is obviously disintegrate it in the water. And if I was a beginner, I would have it fairly light. Okay, I, I wouldn't have it real dark. I'd have it a kind of a light yellow color. Pretty much what I'm, you're looking at right here, this is going to be darker. Uh, when all of the liver of sulfur dissolves. But what you'd like is about right there. So you might want to start out, if you're a beginner, with one little chunk that's over here, uh, just because you don't need it that strong, because it's going to go very, very dark when I spray it. It's only good for about three or four days, okay? And then after that, it goes bad once you've mixed it in water. So uh, you don't want to mix too much. A little bottle of it like this, four ounce spray bottle is just perfect. Uh, you know, so you have a few days working time because you're going to have to throw it away after a while. It goes bad on you.